I'm going to walk you very quickly through the Divi Visual Builder and show you how easy it is to make changes to your website. So all you would do is navigate to the page that you want to edit. And in this example, I'm just going to do the home page. Of course, I'm logged in. And once I'm logged in, I'll have this option at the top to enable Visual Builder. So using the Visual Builder is just as easy as point and click. Say I want to change that word here. I've just selected that and I was able to change the title like that there. Very easy. Now let me just explain to you how Divi structures the pages. So you've got a section, a row, and then a module within that row. So these rows are three column rows. You can change the amount of columns here. Say I want to put that down to two columns. I've done that. Now there's three modules within that row. Uh, because it's only two columns, there's two modules sitting in this outside column. I could actually just duplicate this using this duplicate function and drag one of these modules over to this side and drop it in there. And there you go. I've got four modules in two columns. Now I just want to delete this row here. I don't want those three there. So I'm just going to take that out with a little trash can. And let's say I want to edit the content of the modules now. So I hit the editing button here. I want to call this step one and edit this one. Step four, other things down here. Here is the content just underneath it. So if I wanted to change this wording here, I would just type in there. And every module has a bunch of different settings. Uh, the two that you'll be concerned with really are content and design. So content is really the content and design affects things like colors and layout. You don't really need advanced. So if I wanted to change the icon on this module, this module is called a blurb module. I would just find icon and image here and I can actually change that to another icon. If I wanted to change the color of that, that's a design feature. So I just click over into design here and I can find the color here and change that to a different color. So there you go. There are the changes that I've made within that. There are many more modules that you can add. So if I wanted to add a module, I would hover over here in this section where I wanted to add it. And then I would hit the plus and you can actually choose a whole bunch of modules that are there all with different functions. If I wanted to add a new row underneath, I would use the add new row button and I could choose the number of columns I wanted to add and then start adding modules to that. And of course, if I wanted to add a new section, I would click the blue add section button here and I can actually start by adding a section or adding one of the save sections that I've got here in my library that have been set up for you. If I want to remove a section, say I don't want this part here, very easy to do. I just hover over the trash can here and remove that altogether. And now these two sections are running together. So I think what I'll do is I'll change the background of one of these sections here, maybe my video section so it stands out a little bit more. I think I'll change that background to white. So typically you'll find the background settings in the section. And there we go, pop down here. I can see that's black. So I could change it to a different color. I could choose a gradient, set up a gradient with this one here. I could set it to an image by adding an image to it here or I could use a video for my background as well. So all I'm going to do is change my background to white. There it is, it's white now. You'll notice that the text has disappeared. So if I just close that and then hover over the text and then click on design, you'll see that the text has been set to light. So I'm just going to put that into dark. And you'll see that I can see that now down here. And I think I'm just going to remove 
this entire row here with the text. So I would hover over that and just boom, there, it's gone. Okay, I've made that change. Now, this is a call to action module. And I just wanna change the wording here and set up a link. So I'm just gonna click edit here. And you can see that's where the button is. So I'm gonna change that to contact us. And here is the title. Instead of get started today, I'm gonna change that to contact us today. And the link for the button you'll find just under here. Currently it's not linked to anywhere. So what I wanna do is link that to my contact page. And I've actually got a copy of the page just open in this other tab here. So that's the URL there that I want the button to link to. I will go back over here, paste that into that URL button. Now say I wanna change these images here, pretty easy to do. I just hover over that module. This is an image module. I'll click on the little cog and you'll see the images here. I can actually just select the image that I wanna change that to in my media library. Let's use these bottles. And let's just change that. Might change this one as well. There we go. Uh, now image size is really important. You'll find a few instructions in our support center about how to resize your images before uploading them to WordPress. Do take note of that. I'll just show you a couple of tricks with the slider at the top of the page. Uh, so this is the slider here. It's got two slides and the slider is a module in itself. So to edit it, all I would do is click the little cog and you can see the two slides are here. Say I wanna change the image on the first slide, welcome to my website. I would just click the little cog here to edit that. I can change obviously the wording and the text and the link in the same way that I've shown you before. And in this case, the image is living as a background image. Uh, so here it is. So let's just say I wanna change that. Click the little cog, choose another image use the train there it is I've changed that background image there I might want to change the second slider and to change the smaller image that's in this section here image and video so I would choose an image here let's use the books so I've made a few changes to my page now in order to save those I'll need to click these buttons down here, these three purple dots, and it will expand out this bottom row. And I've got save there, so I can now save those changes and they're live on my site. I'll just quickly explain what some of these other functions are down the bottom. Uh, this will allow you to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, this will give you a wireframe view. It'll load a little bit quicker if you're in the visual editor mode. And this will show you what your website looks like on different devices. So you can change that there. This plus will allow you to load a completely new page over the top of the one that you've already got. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different layouts already set up here uh, from Divi. And here are some saved layouts that uh, should be specific to your business that will set up for you. If you wanna save this entire page as a layout, you can do that here with this button. Just give it a layout name and it'll save to your library. You can clear the page and start with a blank one by clicking this button. This will just close the options. Uh, these are the page settings. So these are a few specific settings that you might have uh, for your page here. Generally, you won't need to worry about that too much. Uh, this is where you can access your revision. So you can actually go back. If you've made a mistake and you want to revert back the page to a state it was previously, you can do that using the editing history. And this is where you can import and export elements, but you're probably not going to need that so much as well. So I've hit save and then I'm going to hit exit visual builder. And here I am with my page and the changes that have been made. So this is a really quick overview of the Divi visual builder and how to use it. If you need any assistance with your site, you can visit our support center and you'll also find some more in-depth trainings there as well from the makers of the Divi theme.